wanted to make an enhancement of this image, but the background was a little too dark. So I decided I would add a fill layer with a pattern in it. Then uh, put a layer on it and started revealing the information by painting on the layer, on the layer mask, excuse me. Now the trick to this is to bring out just enough information and uh, so you have to fight around and see what it looks like as it works out. It's not the kind of thing that you know exactly what you're going to get when you're done. You have to uh, experiment. And so what I'm doing right now is, is trying to figure out how much I want to reveal. I don't want to show everything because in most paintings you don't have the same type of information that you have in a photograph. It's more you show less, not more. So I'm trying to get the right brush size and the right density. Now I'm going back in and painting the texture back in. I don't try and be real precise when I'm doing this in the beginning. I use a big brush and I just sort of open up so I can see what it's going to look like. Then I go back to a smaller brush and pull back in to get as much of the textured background in there as I want. And I move back and forth with this process, trying different brushes, different densities until I get the result I want. Now I'm just trying to pull the detail on the rope. There, you, have to, you can't have detail everywhere, so you have to decide what's going to be your focal point and try and bring the detail to that focal point. But you want the focal point to flow through the image. You don't necessarily want one little tight spot. You want, you want the focal point to pull your eye through the image. So I've pretty much decided that I'm going to try and make the string the focal point so that that's going to have probably more information than the rest of the image. So again, going back in, pulling it back in, going back and forth. You know, this is, this is you know, you got to play, you got to experiment, you got to try different things. So I sort of like it now where I come out off the edge and I'm starting to create these little lines. So I'm going to I'm going to put those in because that will add a little bit of my brush stroke or my technique to the image. Um, and you don't worry about it. If you go too far, you can pull it back in. You can start over. Now, it's on a layer, so it's not a big issue. You always want to try and do your work on layers. That way, if you change your mind, you can always get rid of it or modify it. So well, that looks pretty good. So I've, uh, I've merged a made a merge of the layer so that I have a merge of all of the layers. Now I've gone into Snap Out 4 and the object in here is just to try and pick something that will give me a nice blurred background so I don't have to spend a lot of time doing that with a brush. So here it is. Now again I'm going to use a layer mask and I'm going to reveal what I want to show. And my background is this nice homogenized color and I didn't have to spend a lot of time fighting around trying to do that. So that's what I use the snap out for, is to get there a little quicker. And again, I'm going through the same process I did before, revealing information, going back in and covering up information until I get the look and the feel that I want. This takes a little time, experimentation. Now I'm trying to work on the bottom down there. I just added that layer, which is going to come back and bite me later. So now I'm still playing around with it, revealing information again by using the layer mask, painting in black. Now this is where it gets me. I keep trying to take that spot out on the end of the onion, and I can't get it. I'm saying, oh, where is it? So I'm going through my layers trying to figure out where it is, and there it is, that, that, that extra layer I made. So I had to go and delete that layer, and now I can reveal little roots on the bottom of that onion. And again, it's the little detail that you bring in and what you obscure. So again, I'm playing with those edges, trying to get them refined. You know, people think it's about what's happening in the middle, but most of the time what makes a painting edges interesting is what's happening at the edges and, and how you blend or sharpen the edges. And uh, that's what creates interest and brings the eye into certain areas of the image. If you want to make the eye not see, you blur the edge. If you want to bring interest to it, you shop in the edge. So again, just play around. Now 
Okay, now I've brought up my original image and I'm using, put it on the top of the pile and I'm just in the opacity to bring some of that information back in I'm using different layer, different uh, softness, hardness, different layer modes. Now I'm going to add a texture. And the texture's really popped it up for me. Now again, you have to go in and play with the opacity on the texture and the layer modes to get it to work the way you want. And I'm trying different layer modes. Some will darken it, some will lighten it. Now I'm adding a contrast highlight adjustment to try and get the values where I want them to be. I'm making a, adding a texture layer to help harmonize all the colors together. When you add a little color texture layer, it pulls everything together for you. Doing another brightness contrast adjustment. Now it's really important that you have those values in a particular spot. If the image is too flat, it won't create interest. Now this is really important. One of the last things you have to do is you have to go in and do a color adjustment. And I use the color balance adjustment because it allows me to adjust the shadow, the highlight, and the midtone. And you can see I'm going back and forth and fiddling with it until I get the values to the point that I like them. Now, when you do this, sometimes you lose shadow details. So I make a copy of the original, I mean of the finished image, and I do a shadow highlight adjustment to bring the detail out in the areas where I want it to be. And that's usually the last step before I put my name on it. And this is a very quick overview of how I produce this image. Wish you luck.